Um, so my name's Lizzie D'Angelo. I'm the PR manager for the Sick Children's Trust. The Sick Children's Trust was created to aid the recovery of seriously ill children. So we have a network of free, high quality home from home accommodation. Our 10 houses provide emotional and practical support to families and ensure that they can stay just minutes from their, their sick child's bedside. Uh, we have 10 different houses and we support around 3,500 families a year. Um, we're a charity and we rely entirely on um, voluntary income. So my role is all about raising awareness, raising the profile of the organisation and trying to drive fundraising. Our newsroom's been a really great asset for us in terms of fundraising as well. What we found is particularly useful is the fact that you can list all the events on there. So we now feature each of our Sick Children's Trust events in our newsroom as a separate listing. And that means that we can really easily push those out through social media and, and target new audiences. With our chocolate tea party campaign, um, which is an annual fundraising campaign, which encourages people to hold their own chocolate tea parties. We've got a chocolate tea party section of, on our website, which has all the party pack information on there that you can download. We've got um, invitations, poster templates, um, leaflets. So we've even got an exclusive range of recipes from celebrity chefs like uh, the Great British Bake Off, um, Ed Kimber. We've got Paul A. Young recipe on there, something from Raymond Blanc. So it's kind of everything that you need really to, to get started. We can really push those events through the website and through social media in a way that we couldn't necessarily do before. And I think certainly that has helped us reach um, new audiences and new supporters. For example, with Chocolate Tea, there's a really big chocolate and foodie network out there and we've sort of been, been pushing the campaign out to them and in return we've built some really great relationships within that community and people who would not otherwise not necessarily come across the Sick Children's Trust and we're finding that they're being incredibly supportive and, and so willing to get, get on board and get involved. Um, we were tweeting away um, about chocolate tea, about our celebrity ambassadors and you know, exclusive recipes and a local cafe called the Flying Goose Cafe spotted our um, Twitter stream and contacted us as a supporter of the campaign which was absolutely fantastic. So last year's Big Chocolate Tea Party campaign raised a fantastic £47,000 which smashed our target. Um, we think that was mainly just due to the greater kind of engagement and enthusiasm for the campaign. We've been sort of building year on year. Last year um, was the most successful yet and in fact this year we've set an even more ambitious target and we're hoping to raise £100,000 from the campaign. The great thing is that £100,000 would enable us to keep one of our homes from homes running for an entire year. During my PR career, I've really seen a shift in the way that we communicate with different people. But so much more now is done online. Um, we find that we can tweet stories to regional newspapers and the press releases will go up in a matter of hours. Um, there's not that kind of weak turnaround time that there used to be. Um, we can really kind of chat away with, um, with our journalist audiences through our social media networks. We can um, ensure that press releases reach them with, with minutes. We can see whether they've been opened. I think it's just really changing the way that we do PR and it makes everything far more immediate. My tip with my news desk um, and the newsroom is to really make the most of everything that it offers. We publish press releases, news stories, we've got a photo stream um, and videos on there. What I really love is the way that you can pull in your different social media feeds. So we've got our Twitter feed on there and our, our Facebook feed, Instagram, YouTube, and everything's sort of contained in, in one location on the website and means that it's really easy for our supporters to go online and find what they're looking for. We also have our press contacts, um, again, which I think is really important because it means that journalists can really see who they're engaging with and interacting with from the charity. And it really sort of puts a, a name, or well, a face to a name, I suppose. 